Hi everyone! Welcome to my last weekly video that I'm making. It makes me so sad. Um, well, not that I'm not making weekly videos anymore. I'm just sad that this year's ending because I loved teaching you guys. Um, couple things. First of all, thank you for all of you that sent me those sweet birthday messages and videos. I had to wait to record this video because I was crying because they were so sweet and so nice and I loved all of them. So thank you for sending them. That was so nice of you guys. Um, so this week is the last week that I'm giving you assignments to do um, for the school year. Okay, so you have just this week's assignment and then you are done with assignments. Now, um, you still have time to like redo makeup work and get your grade up um, if you need to. So you have like through June 5th to get your grade up still if you need to. You can still email me, um, video conference me, like we can do like individual conferencing to get your grades up. I'm still here to help you get your grades up. Okay, so if your grade is not where you want it to be, um, talk to me, reach out to me, and we'll help you get it where it should be. Okay, so we still got some time for that. But this week, like I said, will be the last week that I'm assigning assignments for you. Um, next week, don't forget about us yet because technically the school year still goes till June 5th. So next week, we're going to do like a special end of the year, um, like team time on Zoom um, that we want all of you to come to. So I know some of you haven't come to them in the past, but please, 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 please come to the one next week. Um, we miss all of you guys a lot and we have like some special things planned for the end of the year like um, a pod slideshow from just our pod um, and we will do some like we have a bunch of awards to give to you guys so like some of them are serious awards some of them um, are like big pod awards some of them are like funny awards like most likely to do something okay so we have a bunch of those awards that we want to like um, give to you via our video conference and we'll like do some like end of the year games and celebrations and things so um, we'll send you a message um, in canvas about when that's going to be we'll send you that message this week so please watch for that and come to that next week please um, for our pod video end of the year slideshow I would love if you guys could send me like your favorite memories of the year um, I'll put a Google form in your assignments for this week that I want you to fill out. Um, if you don't want your favorite memory of the pod um, to go in the video, that's fine. Just mark that you don't want it in the video. But I still want to know what your favorite memories from um, Street Rats Pod are. So please send those over. And um, if you want yours included in the video, I'll include some in the video. Um, just like a little message of what your favorite memory was. Um, yeah, so do that. Now, this week... You have one of my favorite assignments of all time for Utah Studies. It is called Bring Your Business to Utah. I shortened it to BYB to you. B, bring, Y, U, your, B, business to, to, you is for Utah, obviously. Bring your business to Utah. It's one of my favorite assignments because it kind of like encapsulates all that we've learned in Utah Studies this year. So um, basically the whole premise of this assignment, it's just one assignment you're doing this week. Um, basically this assignment is, there's this guy that we made up, his name's Chuck, um, and he currently lives and works in California, but he is thinking of moving his business here to Utah, okay? Um, and your guys' job through this project is to convince Chuck to move his family and move his business to Utah, okay? So you have to convince his family why it's a great place to move. And like with all the fun things there are to do in Utah. So we'll kind of give you a rundown of what his family likes. And you have to come up with activities for each of those family members to do. And then you have to convince Chuck to move to Utah. Um, or like, and why his business should come here. So you're going to learn a lot about Utah's economy. And like what great things we have going here for businesses. And like I said, it kind of touches on all we've learned in Utah studies this year. Because it, like, <laughs> Utah's a great state. There's so much to do. There's so much, like, that Utah offers. And um, we want you to, like, think back on all the great things that Utah has and put those together in a way to convince someone to want to move to Utah. Okay? So that project is an assessment grade. It's your final grade that will be going in for this quarter or for the school year. And um, do your best on it. And I can't wait to read your projects. It's seriously, I think it's a fun assignment. Um... Yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Um, usually the kids like it a lot. 
some of the boys become obsessed with one of the family members on there. <laughs> you'll, you'll see when you get to it. Anyways, so do that and um, watch for your cameras messages so that you can find out when we're doing like our big team time next year. And by next year, I mean next week. Um, we want every single one of you there. Like, please, seriously, every single one of you there. Um, we would love to, like, see all of you because, like, we have a thousand awards to give out to you guys. Um, yes. So, do you have any, need anything? Let me know. Reach out. As always, you can sign up for an individual appointment on Calendarly. That's how you say it. And, yeah, have a great week. Um, watch through the little slideshow. And then I will show you bubbles again. And um, I'll show you a little rundown of all I did this weekend basically was like my little birthday celebration, which ended up being a great quarantine birthday. I took videos to show you of different things that I did. So you can watch that if you want to. Anyways, thanks guys. Love you all. Um, and I will hopefully see you all either in conferences this week or next week for our team time. Dear me, you'll be older one day. I'm writing from the future and you're doing okay I said now, dear me, hold on to what you've got Things are gonna change, but change is Alright guys, I thought I lost bubbles, turns out he's dear just in the pineapple I know you're scared. Here's the other thing I was going to tell you Usually when I come up, he comes up and looks at me because I think he learned my face now and it's very exciting He's not dead, I promise. He's just sleeping in there. Right? <laughs> okay, well, this is your last Bubbles update because end of the school year. Maybe I'll bring him in for our final team time. He's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, bye! Don't know who you are, don't know who you are, don't know who you are, but you're multiplying. Birthday run when look what's on the door. That thing's huge. I'll make you understand. It's probably the size of like my pinky finger. I can't. I don't even know what to do. If I should kill it, or should I just let it live? It's terrifying. Update. I just left it there because I was way too scared, so I just had to run away. So it might kill someone later. I don't know. Okay, team. This is Liberty Park. It's really close to downtown Salt Lake. Um, the pioneers made like blocked out these two blocks to be a park a really long time ago, and it's so lovely. It, like if you run around the the park twice, it's three miles. And they have like these other little like dirt walking paths and a little like pond. I'm pretty sure that you can like rent like paddle boats and stuff to go on the pond with. Anyways, it's great. You should check it out sometime. I don't know if you can tell, but there's people doing like some like jumpy Zumba maybe workout over there. How much would you pay me to just run up there and then join in and start like doing their moves? I'm too scared. I will not. Unless any of you are willing to pay me like $500, I'm not joining some rando people's workout over there. Funny, it'd be funny though, but no, I'd be too embarrassed. Hold on to what you got. Things are gonna change, right, cool. After the 2002 Olympics, they want people to be healthier, so they started marking how far you ran on the sink. Healthier you, 2002. How adorable. Okay, final update on this park. It's lovely and it's great, but there's some questionable characters here. I saw two police cars. So anyways, if you come, just be careful. But, but the rest of everyone else is so great, but a few sketchy things might be happening. Okay, we got this, all the waves. Okay, actually they're not bad. The anticipation was much worse. <laughs> Okay, they look bigger They did look bigger, but we're fine. Because I am the one who's gonna change. Said you're gonna get yourself, get yourself.